because in the finance world, it's not so much that people don't care, they just don't care about the same things. And what they care most about is uh, financial discipline and the structure of the production. And what happens uh, in a lot of uh, uh, you know, film projects is people don't like that structure because they want to be creative. So there's a, a natural tension there. But if you can learn as a creative to leverage those financial structures, I promise you, you can go a lot farther than fighting the system because the money is out there. Uh, uh, most of the states in the United States have what are called tax incentives. That means if you spend money making a movie, you can get a percentage of that budget back, cash, in your pocket. It takes a while, and there's different ways to liquidate that cash. But the point is the states have created that as a tool for people to use to create content, and that's what makes a state like Georgia, where I'm from, uh, become such a, a powerhouse in the industry in such a short period of time. It's got great tax incentives. South Africa has great tax incentives. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, so because they have that all modern technology companies, right? So all companies collect some type of data. All tech companies have some type of automation. I just, I'm just speaking to the process because as it relates to film, it's the only remaining industry, well, it's maybe not the only one, but it's the one that caught my attention that um, maybe not napkin deals, but most of these deals are still done on phone calls and paper in meetings and flying around the world. And it's just horribly inefficient to move capital in the film space, whether you're uh, uh, raising a fund, whether you're financing a big movie, whether you're financing a small movie. It takes a long time, it takes a lot of meetings, a lot of conversations, there's no guaranteed outcome with any of this. And so it's just a whole lot of people spinning their wheels over and over again. And at Film Hedge, what we focus on is creating a guaranteed outcome. If you bring us a film and it checks the boxes that we do internally, um, and those boxes I can get through later when it's, uh, you know, when we can go deeper into the subject matter. But if it checks those boxes, it's a, um, you know, we flag it as something as like, this looks like something that we can do. Now, the only reason why it's not guaranteed at that point is because you have to do what's called due diligence. Because people, when they want something, capital, they will often you know, tell you whatever you want to hear to get that capital. So we, then we have to, we basically take a position, trust but verify. So then we have to go and verify all the things that the filmmaker told us that they said. So you know, one of the things we look for, distribution. One of the things we look for, pre-sales, tax credits. That's, uh, insurance, what's called a completion bond. Those four things are very easy for us to check to see if they're in place. And um, if they're there, now it becomes something with a high probability that will actually close on, on the deal. And then at that point, it's the filmmaker knows that they've got you know an outcome that's like 99% uh, likelihood of going through. And that last little bit just comes down to deal terms and negotiations. So, we make an offer, they can accept it, or they may not accept it, but uh, they know that at that point, it's not us that's holding them up. It now is their choice. And so, um, because that is a, a repeatable process, it makes things a lot faster, and it wastes less time for the filmmakers. And we can give you quick no's, but we can give you just as quick yeses.